Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, back with another Firewall Zero Hour video. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a while now, but I wanted to wait until after Firewall was fixed again. Otherwise, the downtime issue would have been dominating the discussions in the comments, and that's not what this video is about. So now that Firewall has risen like a phoenix from the ashes once again, here I am to talk about the future of Firewall Zero Hour, and this video is going to mainly be based on the developer diary video that First Contact Entertainment put out around the time Nightfall came out, and that video has some very juicy, some might even say moist, details within us. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the developer diary opens with some nice shots of the newest map, which is of course Hangar. The first thing I want to point out here is, and if you've been watching my firewall streams, you'll already know this, but right here on this radar, you'll see that the planes have names. Now this one here is called Pick, and there are other planes which will appear on these radars, and when you put the names together, they spell out hidden messages. So this one here is Pickles, for example, and there's another one that spells out Petrifying Pumpkins, both of those are little easter eggs towards this channel put in there by Kyle Mulqueen who is a technical environment artist at First Contact Entertainment and who occasionally visits my streams too, hence how this came to be. So this is of course not important for the future of Firewall at all, but I had to mention this because it's cool as hell to me personally. Anyway, let me skip ahead in the video to this shot here of two of the developers working on something at their desktop. Now if you look in the background here you can see some artwork is hanging on the wall of what I think looks like firewall contractors. Now it's too hard to make out any clear details, but this could potentially be our first look at future contractors, perhaps it's even Lynx, the next contractor who is expected to drop in a couple of weeks alongside the new FOB or FOB map. Next we'll jump ahead to maybe the most exciting part of this video, which is a sneak peek at two brand new maps that will likely drop in the next season. So remember, we are currently in Operation Nightfall, which includes two new maps, Hangar, which we already have, and FOB, which will be coming halfway through the season, so likely in two weeks time. But we also know that after Operation Nightfall, there's going to be two more operations or two more seasons, if you prefer. Now we saw proof of this in a blog post here on First Contact Entertainment's official blog. And we know that in the past, Hess has stated that the team are working on six maps total. So it seems likely that each operation will give us two maps for a total of six. Now we don't get a look at these future maps in action, but we do see artwork based on them. Now one of them appears to be a tanker or a container ship of some kind out at sea. Now it's not clear if the ship is anchored or if it's actually in motion, but I suspect it will be anchored to help avoid motion sickness for those with weak stomachs. But either way, it'll be cool to have a map surrounded by water, and it also looks like it's going to be set during the day, so it's great to have more daytime maps. So then the other map we see teased here is actually given a title. Now it's called Fake News here, but keep in mind that that could be just a working title, we're not sure. Fake News is set inside a very modern and sleek looking news station, but there's not much else to say about either of these maps until we see them in action. But what we can do is we can talk a little bit more about FOB, which is of course the next map which should be dropping in just a couple of weeks. So we can see here some concept art for FOB, but what's interesting about the art here is that it doesn't show the sandstorm. So in the few glimpses we've gotten of FOB in action so far, it's always had a sandstorm going on and in my most recent firewall stream, First Contact Entertainment CEO Hess Barber himself popped into the chest and told us that he had just finished playing on the FOB map. So I asked him if the sandstorm is something that is constantly on the FOB map or if it comes and goes during the match. Hess confirmed for us that the sandstorm is constant. So when you're playing FOB, you're going to need to be prepared for very low visibility and probably a lot of close counter engagements as you'll probably be bumping into people accidentally rather than seeing them at a distance thanks to the storm. So I think that's great. I like to see the team at First Contact Entertainment trying new things with these maps, experimenting, making us change up our playstyles a bit and whatnot. And I hope that some of the other maps that are coming in the future will have their own unique little twist or spin, similar to the sandstorm on FOB, but we'll have to wait and see. So the final interesting thing in this video is while Mike DeMeo, 
the lead environmental artist is talking about maps towards the end. So Mike talks about how they are trying to tie maps together using branding and logos. And he seems to be implying here that there is some kind of story going on in the background that they want players to figure out for themselves by studying maps and whatnot. Although he did say that maybe they will explicitly tell us what's going on at some point in the future, maybe not. My own theory is that Zeft Cola is pulling the strings behind the shadows, but you know, if you want to come up with your own theories, then maybe take a closer look at logos and brands and all that stuff the next time you're playing Firewall and see if you can find some interesting connections. So that's it for this video, lads and ladies. But before I go, I have to give a big shout out, a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want to help out, you can do so as well. The link will be in the description. But if you just want to help out the old fashioned way, you can just, you know, help out with the likes and subscribing and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll appreciate that very much. So that's it for this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.